It's the age of quantum leaps. Google is overtaking itself in an endless loop of updates. First Gemini 3, then straight into Nano Banana Pro. I've taken a close look at what's possible now and walked away with a few genuinely impressive experiences. This first part of Google's AI push focuses entirely on Gemini 3 Pro, the LLM that now delivers things most other platforms can barely touch, if at all. So I'm diving straight into a series of tests that don't just challenge Gemini 3 Pro, but actually offer real value in my own creative work. As many of you know, I always bring a few heavy hitters from the AI arsenal into these test setups. And that's exactly what I did here. When I asked at ChatGPT and Grok how to push Gemini 3 Pro to its limits, Grok responded with a slightly smug line. Let's do this. I am all in. That was my cue. So I packed the bag, loaded with some tricky tasks. Among them, an SREF code explorer, a story analysis based on massive content input, a comic book generator interface, an image to vector conversion tool, a creative studio for camera setups, and a climate change forecast simulator. Here's how it works, just briefly. Head to the homepage, select the model Thinking with 3 Pro in the bottom right, then activate the Canvas feature using the slider icon. Paste in the prompt, click Submit on the right, and that's it. There's also a trick you should know when it comes to refinement. More on that in a moment. Challenge one. Anyone working with Midjourney, or now Meter, knows that so-called SREF codes can massively influence image generation. These codes allow you to apply unique stylistic characteristics without writing lengthy prompts. So the idea to create a custom SREF code generator practically suggested itself. The prompt I used was, please create a web application that collects SREF codes from multiple public sources, stores them in a searchable database, and presents them in a clean interface with filtering. Create a standalone HTML file. Three minutes later, the platform was live. What you see here is version one of the SREF Code Explorer, with a basic search function, various drop-down menus, and a clean minimalist UI. The core features, copy any SREF code, and browse by category. And now for what I call secret weapon number one. In the bottom right, you'll notice a dark floating interface element. At first, it always sits there, at least for me. Hover over it and it becomes active. You can drag it to a more convenient spot. Let's move it top left for now. What is it? When you hover, you'll see two options. Add Gemini features and select an ask. The first one unlocks the full AI intelligence of Gemini 3 Pro. It basically tells the LLM, you're the expert, improve this app, no prompt needed. Gemini responds, let's see what's in the toolbox, and starts adding things like generate prompt and inspire me. That gives us version 1.1. Next, it integrates an interactive prompt builder and magic search. Now we're on version 1.2. Add a visual style matcher and find similar. And we're at version 1.3. Want a style blender or pro tips? Welcome to 1.4. All of this added by clicking a single button. You'll notice that Gemini isn't particularly concerned with layout design. It just loads features. To move toward version 2.0, I told it to unify the buttons, use Montserrat consistently, and clean up the interface. The result? A sharper visual look, more readable layout, and optimized code. There's now a mix function to blend different styles. You can even generate a custom prompt for any SREF code. I tested it with the term Samurai, copied the result into Midjourney, and the generated image confirmed it works beautifully. Secret weapon number two is Select and Ask. Click the selection icon and highlight any area of the interface. A dialog pops up. Type your question and hit Enter. Gemini 3 Pro instantly analyzes that section and responds with a focused solution. If you want to cancel the process, just click the input field without typing and hit escape. Challenge two, story analysis based on massive input. Technically, this one sounds fairly unspectacular. The key, however, is scale. The two documents I uploaded here total over 100,000 characters. My prompt was, 
please analyse the uploaded content, generate a concise summary, suggest suitable prompts for creating a comic book based on it, and create dedicated image generation prompts for the selected key scenes. Create a standalone HTML file. What you see here on the right is the condensed version of that story, ending with the line, let them come. Below it, marked in green, are the suggested prompts. Once passed through mid-journey, these prompts turn into a visual narrative. Gemini not only distilled the story with clarity and precision, but also added guidance for how the illustrations should evolve page by page. Challenge 3. This one builds directly on the second challenge, and I have to admit that I'm genuinely overwhelmed by the result. I call it the comic book generator interface. So what's at the core of this project? I told Gemini 3, please create a web interface where the user can upload two documents, story plus guidelines, and receive a fully illustrated comic book. Include page navigation, regeneration buttons, and a consistent art style. Create a standalone HTML file. What you see on the right is the outcome of several iteration rounds, and this time the extra effort was absolutely worth it. The idea is as simple as it is clever. Create your comic book on the go, a story that never really ends. But what exactly holds it together? I first gave Gemini 3 the manuscript, the storyline of our protagonist Ben, in the year 2099, with the goal of generating a comic that builds itself. And here's the twist. Every time I launch the project, it can produce a completely new version. At the beginning, you see empty tiles. In the top right sits a prominent button inviting the user to start the story. Once I click it, the AI generates the images in the illustration style I defined, complete with text notes, and it does so as a continuous narrative. The topic was so interesting that I didn't stop at add Gemini features. I added my own modules on top. For example, regenerate panel to recreate an image if I don't like it, generate motion video to animate a panel, and analyze panel to receive a short background story for each image. And now it gets even better. If I click narrate in the top right, it's built into every page, the AI reads out the full story of that page. But that's not all. Down in the lower right corner is a chat icon. Clicking it opens a neural link with Ben himself, and I can talk to him. If I type, hi Ben, how are you? He responds. I can open and close the chat at any time, and the thread remains intact. Scrolling down, the story continues. And if I don't like a particular image, I simply generate a new one. And yes, motion video works here as well. Fantastic, isn't it? You know that feeling when a good series ends and you're left wanting more. Not here. I can create a new page simply by clicking Generate Next Page. Gemini continues the storyline in the background, and I can fill in the visuals again using Draw Missing Panels. And the best part, this process has no end. And of course, what would a tool like this be without a print PDF function? With one click, the entire comic adventure becomes a saved document. The possibilities to expand this are nearly limitless. Different story worlds, new characters, new artistic styles. And Gemini 3 Pro handles it all, almost casually. The crucial part is the refinement process. Challenge 4. The comic book generator was already a strong one. But this next tool, it saves me almost 10 bucks a month. That's how much the subscription costs for a platform I now don't need anymore. The prompt I gave Gemini 3 was, please create a clean and modern web interface that allows the user to upload an image and simulate a step-by-step -step vector conversion process, including preview states and adjustable parameters. Create a standalone HTML file. Yes, you guessed it. This is about building an image to vector conversion interface. Let me show you how it works. I open Photoshop and scribble something. Just some lines, nothing fancy. Let's throw in a few colors too. This little mess I save as a JPG on my desktop. Then I head over to the interface Gemini 3 built. And as you can see, it's incredibly straightforward. On the left, I just drag and drop the image I just made. If I want, I can tweak some settings at the top. Then I hit process image. And that's it. Two seconds later, boom, the result is ready. I can download the file in three different formats. Let's test it. I open Adobe Illustrator, 
drop in the SVG and... Yep, there it is. A fully vectorized version of my original sketch. Anyone working in design or print knows how crucial clean vector files are. And this one works flawlessly. So yes, hats off. Not only does this tool save me money, it also just works. Smooth, fast and reliable. Gemini 3 Pro, seriously, well played. Challenge 5. The creative studio for camera setups. You probably know the pain. Camera setups. Movement, angle, modification. Yeah, same here. That's why this next tool really hit a nerve. What Gemini created here is essentially a full-blown AI creative studio. And the prompt was as simple as this. Please create a web application that displays a structured library of camera angles, camera heights, camera positions, and camera movements for use in AI video prompts. Include categories, examples, and a clean UI. Create a standalone HTML file. We did two quick iteration rounds to improve the visuals, color and font mainly. But apart from that, what you're seeing is almost version one of the application. We get clear definitions for height and position, angle and perspective, shot size and movements, each one with an example. Scroll down and things start to escalate. There's the AI cinematographer, then the AI storyboarder, and finally the AI style guide. This really comes into play when you're stuck. Let's say I type in something like a mouse in the house. The creative studio responds with three alternate takes. And yes, it actually works. This cross-check image was generated using exactly one of those suggestions and turned into a short animation with Animate. Pretty impressive, right? Jumping back into the interface, there's also a full prompt library packed with all kinds of use cases, from dynamic character reveal to raw realism. Challenge six, interactive sliders and dynamic diagrams. This last one is all about tweaking values and watching the impact in real time. I call it the climate change forecast. Gemini refers to it as the human history simulator. The prompt was, please create an interactive timeline of human history where the user can adjust key historical events using sliders. The visualization must dynamically show how alternate decisions might have influenced climate outcomes. Create a standalone HTML file. The core idea here is to explore what would have happened, or might still happen, if humanity had taken certain industrial steps, earlier or later. What we see is a simplified version of those stages. In this simulation, the graph assumes that the so-called renewable breakthrough occurred in the year 2000 and the curve adjusts accordingly. But if we change the values to simulate more or less renewable energy adoption, the indicators shift dramatically. Is this scientifically accurate? Of course not, but it shows what's possible when you present dependencies in an interactive visual way. And once you add Gemini features, more layers unfold, making the whole experience even more engaging. One last note on usage. If you visit the Google DeepMind page, you'll find a bold statement about Gemini 3, our most intelligent model yet. And based on my own tests, I'd say that's right. It's a fantastic tool for learning, for building, for planning. If you want to try Gemini 3 Pro yourself, just go to Google AI Studio, Google Gemini, or Google Anti-Gravity. In my experience, it's even possible to use Gemini 3 Pro for free but only up to a point. Eventually it switches you down to Gemini fast. And once that happens, the output quality drops noticeably. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.